can you prevent this summer slide? I'm talking about the learning loss that takes place for so many of our students during summer break. So today I have Melanie Stefanowitz of Early Learning Coalition and Tara Sherrod of uh, First Baptist Preschool getting us more on ways to stop that slide. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Uh, first, if you could tell us what you what you do, the, the Early Learning Coalition, because I know you work hard, Melanie, at trying to keep our kids focused and, and on track in their education. Thanks for that question. It's a great one. The Early Learning Coalition acts as a liaison between the Florida Department of Education and our local preschool early child educators. And so we help parents determine if they're eligibility for both school readiness programs as well as our voluntary pre-kindergarten or VPK programs. So we provide the vouchers for students to attend or children to attend, and we help support parents in finding good placements for their children. The summer slide is a very real thing. Uh, you have some, some pretty amazing data to back that up as to how much kids can learn. They say that stu children who don't attend any kind of summer learning program can lose as much as two months worth of learning over the summer. Wow. And Tara can probably share a little more because she's actually in the field. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually, it's important for, for the kids to still um, be learning and, and with other children and learning how to cooperate with them in, in school. And so during the summer, although it may not be as structured um, in daycare facilities, it's important for them to be in those facilities so that they can continue to um, get the education mm -hmm. over the summer and not not learning not losing what they have learned in the past year especially the young ones i'm sure that you that you uh, work with and the kids enjoy it too i would assume absolutely you know? so it's play but also learning absolutely. Um, i know a lot of people who move here may not be aware of what vpk is and what we have here in florida and what an what an incredible resource it is i had two kids go through it and uh, felt so blessed to have that available to us you want to take that? Sure, absolutely. VBK is voluntary pre-kindergarten. Um, it is a government program that is offered to any four-year-old um, in the state of Florida. They have to be four years old by September 1st. It's mm -hmm. a great program to be able to get into any preschool that they um, want to. It can be faith-based. It can be a public school. Um, and so uh, lots of opportunities for families to be able to get their children in school. Um, many who can't afford daycare right. or can't afford preschool, it's a great program to be able to get that little bump to go into kindergarten to be able to get their children socialized as well as um, the education that they get in the program. The state of Florida has made a commitment to every four-year-old. They are eligible for free voluntary preschool regardless of whether their parents are income eligible or not. Wow. So it, it is free across the board. They don't ask for it. And, and, but you have to be with a qualified program. I know that you have one, Tara. Yes. Um, what exactly is the importance of preschool? I know a lot of parents, you know, think about when we were younger, we just went into kindergarten, but preschool makes a big difference. So the real importance is it, it starts, children start to learn about the world around them. They learn to identify patterns and cause-effect relationships so they can start to make sense of things. They learn about communication, early literacy, early math skills, early STEM skills are all things that are, they learn through play activities that are developmentally appropriate for them so that when they get to kindergarten, they're more prepared to be successful in school. It does make a big difference. I know that there are two different types of VPK. You have the summer programs and then the more structured fall programs, correct? Yes. That is correct. The summer programs are about 300 hours mm -hmm. and the, the fall programs or the winter programs are about 540 hours. Mm -hmm. um, Tara can, she was explaining to me earlier the difference between the 300 hour and 540 hour. Yes, the summer program is a more condensed, accelerated program for those children that are getting that because they are at, they're putting everything into those 300 hours. It's a lot to learn, a lot to, to get to those children to be up to that level for kindergarten. Um, um, the 540 hours during the school year is a more structured, more school type based um, program. So, but both of them the children learn a lot through so and I know a lot of them have uh, their half days that they go five days a week or every other day for a full day is that still uh, the, the way that it's normally structured throughout the area it is it is okay. and some of those children that go for half of the day their parents may wrap around in our school readiness program if they need uh, care all day so they'll have sure. EPK for part of the day and then they'll have school readiness which allows to extend that play-based learning you know a developmentally appropriate for more hours of the day oh that's wonderful mm -hmm. How can parents uh, figure out exactly which program they should go into and how to get some of that help? As you touched on, child care is extraordinarily expensive and so many of us get to the summertime and go, oh my gosh, you know, what do you do? Uh, and I know that that's why you're here to help. Exactly. They can reach out to my office um, at the Early Learning Coalition of Southwest Florida. My staff can help them. They can also, if they have a preferred provider, they can work through them and get connected with us. But we can help them get the vouchers and the eligibility they need for either program. 
Great. Thank you both so much for what you do. And I appreciate you making a big difference in so many families and futures for our kids. Mm -hmm.